Extroverts who ask others why are you so quiet, what kind of response are you looking for? I'm the quiet one and have asked my extrovert friend about this. For her, it's her anxiety telling her that I'm not taking because I'm mad at her. She is very uncomfortable with silence. We've both gotten better at being what the other needs in this regard. We have a mutual friend who is also an introvert and we can sit and read for an afternoon and have a lovely time together. While the extrovert anxiously eyes us lol. Another question for extroverts, do you ever find it weird that someone is quiet? V whenever LM asked why I'm quiet I get the feeling that the other person thinks I'm weird for being silent and observing. I find it hard to believe that it's for any other reason. One of my favorite surgeons is very quiet. Story told about him by another surgeon when he was a resident. Resident kept trying to ask about his kids, his holidays, making chit chat. Surgeon says, I'm comfortable with uncomfortable silences. End of conversation. One of my now close friends is very quiet and introverted. For years, I thought he didn't like me at all. Eventually I figured out how to communicate with him. He's someone who actually thinks before he speaks, which is surprisingly rare. Like you would ask a question and he wouldn't answer so I would assume he was ignoring me out of dislike, when in all actuality, he thinks deeply about things before giving an opinion so you may wait a few minutes in silence before he responds. Once I figured this out, we started to have a true friendship. I'm an extrovert who has recently taught himself to listen more than speak. I'm a contractor and just knew that T had a tendency to dominate conversation and had to make the conscious effort to shut the fuck up and listen to my customers. It has affected my entire life in a positive way. Tam an extrovert. Having a conversation, to me, feels a little like passing a ball. In a situation where the conversation is going well, I finish my piece, and then I pass the ball. If I don't pass the ball, I feel very rude to me, I feel like I'm hogging the conversation. I don't like being on the other side of it where I never get the ball. So with an introvert, you have someone who doesn't always want the ball. Maybe they're content to watch others play ball or to watch you dribble and bounce it around. Maybe they want nothing to do with the ball and wish the players would fuck off somewhere else. So that's what I have to figure out. I would never ask why are you so quiet? But my conversational style is driven by the urge to pass the ball. So LD ask a question about the topic, what your opinion is or if you have anything to add, or LD ask about you and how you're doing, or if there is anything you'd like to talk about. I don't know if this helps you, op, but as an actual adult extrovert, it'll give you my two cents. First, I don't ever ask why someone is so quiet. That's rude. However, I'll intentionally interact with people who look like they're uncomfortable or distancing themselves from others. I want everyone at the party slash group event slash dinner slash whatever to have a good time. I was a shy kid with an inferiority complex and I don't ever want someone that I'm socialized with to feel that way. If I see someone hanging back, I'll go talk to him. I'll ask questions that get him talking about himself. If after a few minutes I get a vibe that he's perfectly happy just hanging around the edge of the group and doesn't really want to interact, I'll keep it brief and move on. It helps that my best friend and my very nice boss are introverts, and they've explained to me that there's a difference between being introverted versus shy versus socially awkward. The shy or socially awkward people seem to appreciate being approached individually or included in group conversations. I always make sure to ask them questions if we're standing around in a circle talking but they never have a chance to contribute. Introverts, on the other hand, don't have the energy to engage with lots of people and slash or for a long period of time. With people who I know are introverts, I'll ask if they're doing okay, if they want to leave, if they need a wingman to help them exit graciously, if they'd like me to sit with them for a while or if they'd rather be left alone, if they want to or run to the snack table or to refill drinks etc. I think there is a common misconception that introverts are rude and standoffish. It's hard for some people to be social, and that's perfectly okay. Maybe just a smile and a friendly I don't know, that's just the way I am should work. I was in a long relationship with someone who could not stand silence and would never stop talking. This resulted in a complete breakdown of communication because what was being said was always filler and never quality. 
I speak when there's something to say and expect to be listened to. Some people speak as a performance and don't understand why others don't perform the same way. When there's constant talking nine information is not exchanged because talking just becomes constant empty noise. Introversion and extroversion are not the same as noisy and quiet. It is entirely possible to be a quiet extrovert. I just came to say. Please stop asking people why they're quiet, they're shy, or nervous or worried or something. Ask them a question they can answer. Like what do you think? Or did you see enough about me, how are you finding? What did you do at the weekend? What have you planned for this weekend? How's your dog doing? But. This is going to be buried but whatever. People should stop blaming extroverts as a whole for the tactlessness of some people. It's not an extrovert thing, it's not an introvert thing. It's a thing of indiscreet people in general. That's it from a fellow introvert. I had an uncle who was like that. One day he went to a barber shop with my dad and, when the barber asked my uncle how he wanted his hair cut, he replied in absolute silence. I hear seems to be a common misconception that extroversion equals social and introversion equals quiet. Introversion and extroversion, at least in a psychological sense, is more about whether engaging with your external environment decreases or increases your energy respectively. Hence you can have some very social, bubbly people that are introverts. However, after a period of socializing those introverts will want to recluse away from those environments to recover energy. Also note that it is generally argued to be a sliding scale so it is likely everyone can kind of empathize to some extent with being an introvert and being an extrovert. I would even personally argue that anecdotally the trait can be quite temperamental. A lot of people ask me why don't you just talk to people? What could go wrong? And I guess that's true but I'm always afraid I'm going to do something weird and fuck up and look really stupid and it happens a lot to be so that's why for me. Frankly, I think there are various reasons. My parents ask that of my daughter, misguidedly but with good intentions, to encourage her to talk. As another poster noted, they would be better off asking something specific about school or something. Someone once said to me, you started singing in front of the whole group today, but you're always so quiet. Me, yep, quiet doesn't equal shy, common misconception, finally, some extroverts just don't understand introverts. I've had a couple of instances where people actually got angry at it, even close to fisticuffs. I think they see it as a threat or a slight of some kind, maybe because they can't read the person, which makes them uncertain. In any situation, it's a terrible question to ask. People ask that because they think that if someone's quiet it means they don't like them. It's insecurity, they're fishing for the quiet person to soothe their ego by making an excuse. Or possibly coping with their own discomfort by spreading it around. Asking someone why are you so quiet, is a surefire way to make them uncomfortable. I think extroverts often mistake silence as a sign someone isn't having a good time. Some people who ask it are just being assholes, but I think often it can also just be reassuring that the other person isn't miserable. As an extrovert, I am quiet when I feel uncomfortable or don't want to be in a particular setting. So if I see someone else acting so, I usually ask a brief you okay, or having a good time, which I think is a bit more polite. People do this shit to me all the time. Like you're awful quiet or you don't say much. Like no fucking shit, what do you expect me to say? Do you just feel the need to berate me for not verbally engaging you constantly? Honestly, I'm looking for any type of response. Are you having a bad day? Do you want me to shut up? Do you just have nothing to add? Do you hate me? As an extrovert, I'm just looking to get a full understanding of the situation so I don't fucking embarrass myself. My husband is very introverted and will understand his cues completely so it's not an issue. Introverts are just so mysterious. Tell me everything. But also I respect the fact that you don't want to. Extrovert here. I find that question to be highly rude. In a situation as such I would say something like you doing alright, or how are things, or try to spark general conversation, and pick up on signs. If someone doesn't feel like talking they will let you know with tone and body language. I'm an extrovert with anxiety. It is so much fun. 
I ask that question cause I'm terrified that I'm annoying the person, they are not interested, or they just don't like me. We ask why you are quiet cause to us when we are quiet we aren't involved and can make us feel bored and left out. It is not, at least in my case, a shaming function to get you to talk more. It more we might be interested in what you have to say and want to make sure you are naving fun. It could be worded better but then sometimes you sound like a boss with phrases like Jim what are your thoughts on the matter or Beska seems quiet and wondering what your opinion is. Some of the best answers I've heard that at least helps my anxiety have been TM just enjoying listening to the conversation or I'm not familiar with this topic but I'm glad to be learning new items. LF you want us to talk, find out what we're interested in and we'll talk for hours. Trying to get us to talk by shaming us for not talking, yeah that's not going to work at all. Depends on how well know them and what we are doing. Most of the time I just am looking to be sure they are doing okay, or in the case of a party or something aren't bored but just pretending to be fine slash staying for appearances. If we could just set up a code word or even look for that check-in, that would be good enough. I just want to be for real, for realize is sure they are okay. It's a lack of understanding on both sides. Extroverts being talkative and trying to engage others in conversation is just who they are. Introverts being reserved or content in silence is just who they are. When the extrovert engages, the introvert sees them as annoying, particular when a question like why are you so quiet, comes out. The introvert is minding their own business and would prefer others to do the same, or, maybe they just don't care much for idle slash non-relevant conversation. The extrovert sees the introvert as possibly trying to deal with something and wants to either figure out why, or to just be friendly and help. If the introvert clams up, the extrovert concludes they're cold and weird. Neither side is more correct than the other, but I think both of them are wrong about each other much of the time. This thread is about as peak Reddit as it gets. Everyone is assuming you'd only ask a introvert this question. What if your friend is extroverted and being oddly quiet? For me that raises concern so I'll ask the question. LD like no to if something is troubling you or maybe just feel like keeping to yourself. It's not to put you on center stage or a attack. Also I've had introverted people ask me the question why are you so quiet. It's not like only one type of person asks this question. It's often and believe it or not a question of concern just respond in kind. TM shy. I'm not feeling it. Like to listen etc introvert slash extrovert thing is always odd to me